Okay, so here's a picture of uh, my kitty cat truck, that, what I call my unbreakable truck. So it started like that other truck that I showed you how to make in the last videos. Lent it out to four different families over the years. The dad gets on it, rips the windows out of it at the end of the truck like this. So we basically just cut all the windows out of it. We started bolting it together before we cut the windows out. So basically took a piece of, this is cold rolled one half by three sixteenths flat bar. It's got sharper edges on it, sharper corners, and it's very hard compared to hot rolled steel. This is too sharp for the kitty cat drive wheel to run against. It would just chew this to nothing in no time if you put it on that. So our solution was to take a piece of five eighths outside diameter, Sinflex brake hose off a dump truck. I'm a dump truck mechanic by trade, and uh, we use that on it. So then you have to cut it in one inch pieces, squeeze it in a vise, and then hammer these in with a hammer through it when it's in the vise, and get it to the right position where you want it to look. You can move it afterwards, but it's fairly tight. It's easier to put them all in the right place first. And uh, then we just bolted them onto the truck. Just because it was three separate pieces of belt whenever we were done, there's nothing inside here. It's all gone where the original windows and drive drives were. Um, we just figured to locate the three pieces so it didn't skew and get twisted. We put three 10 inch long bars across it and they're drilled in a quarter inch from the end. There's a quarter inch hole drilled in it. Three and a quarter inches, there's a hole drilled, seven inches and then nine and three quarter inches. We just basically had them on there to line it up, was why we did that. And then we put the Sinflex onto them. Um, don't know why, it's still got some of these uh, button socket cap screws here. I don't know why we use those. Don't know why they're left over, no idea. The rest of them are just regular quarter inch bolts with nylocks on the back side of them. And like I say, because you've only got the three bogey wheels, one runs here, one runs here, one runs here. It doesn't come near the bolts, it doesn't matter. These bars could have been made longer. We just used that length just so that you could still write the kids, read the kids' names as it drove in the snow. Um, because these bolts stick up past the thing, it doesn't write the name in the, snow, in the snow as good as my other tracks do, but it still does write the name in the snow. Um, this wasn't repaired by me originally. It was a guy that I'd lent it to, and I told him that he put, put just regular flat stock on it. Didn't measure this one window right. It's made no difference at all. Instead of having a one inch window or a one inch lug and then a one inch window, it now has a three quarter inch drive lug and an inch and a quarter window. The sprocket fits inside there and it drives absolutely perfect. It's less friction than plastic on rubber because obviously rubber is made to grip on, uh, on snow and ice, correct? And um, it makes a bit of a clicking noise. It's, it's different, you can hear the noise. Um, this track's run for 10 years like this and it hasn't had a problem. And uh, it has worn off on my friend. He's got one done like this. And it did wear the Sinflex off because he lives on a gravel road and his kids would go up and down the gravel road. The gravel got in between the sprocket here and it did wear out the sprocket and the plastic. It wasn't a big deal to fix, but it uh, was just something that I don't think would have happened with a rubber track. Anyways, um, I'm gonna take it apart and show you what the ends of it look like. This has been uh, 20 years, I think, since I built this. And it's got one eighth inch, 6013 welding rod with the flux knocked off it. And the ends have to be bent over 180 degrees and folded back onto itself. Because you got a bogey wheel running here, it will break in the middle. And you can see that it has, whenever it broke, it has lost one piece of the staple. The uh, lacing is gone. There's a couple pieces of the lacing misses here. A couple pieces have ripped off here. It, it's a tough old truck. It's had a tough life. It's done probably a thousand hours, I would think, in its lifetime, maybe more. I didn't own it for for 15 years of its life. It was lent out. Once my kids were big enough not, no longer to uh, be driving a kitty cat skidoo, I lent it out to uh, four different families, and they drove it as much as they wanted to. And um, it's been a good little skidoo. Haven't had any real problems with it. Um, so basically, that's the upgrade that I find is unbreakable um, you'd have to hand make the conveyor belt track first but if you had a kitty cat track and it was a wavy track or the original 1972 flat type track and if you just ripped out say you had just one of the rubber windows was ripped out or two of them or three of them or four of them as many as you like if you wanted you could do the whole track like this you don't have to put the sinflex on like that if you've just got one or two windows ripped out you need to use these little button socket cap screws Cut the bar to whatever length you want to have it so it clears your bogey wheels. Drill down through your track. 
where you've got your broken window coming back the other way, you've got to, you'd have to drill a hole in the middle of this bar. And this carriage bolt is going to go back up through the rubber track and hold the torn window onto this steel bar. You need to grind the head of this so that it's no longer rounded like that because that will hit on the sprocket and wear a hole into the sprocket, the drive sprocket. So you need to grind this down until it's like a sixteenth of an inch thick or even thinner than that. Put it up through your rubber, holding your window onto the bottom of that thing. And then because it's a long bolt like that, you can hold the head here underneath when it's through the window. Tighten your nylock down onto it about there. Then whenever it's through the window, through the bar, clamp vice grips on the head of it here. Tighten the nut down by hand with a uh, open end wrench because you got to help with vice grips here. And then cut cut the uh, ex excess uh, thread sticking out off with a hacksaw. You can't use a grinder or it will heat up the end of the, the, the uh, bolt and it will make the nylock, nylon uh, melt out of the nylock lock nut and uh, then you'll just have that one little bar sitting on your track holding the ripped window out um, I guess you could run these bars across it I have had one guy contact me that said that after he saw my pictures online he fixed a wavy track using bars somehow I didn't understand everything he said he didn't send me any pictures but he said that he had ripped windows and he had bolted some of them back on and, and braced them with these bars don't know what he did um, I have no idea but Anyways, that's basically my uh, unbreakable track, and it's just an upgrade from a regular conveyor belt track. And I'm going to cut the uh, the welding rod out of here and uh, flip it on to my little kitty cat skidoo and uh, run it this weekend.